Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a vulnerability which is cross-site scripting. And in this video, we are specifically going to discuss about reflected cross-site scripting. For those who don't know what is a cross-site scripting, then in this vulnerability, an attacker is able to execute his malicious JavaScript code on the client side, which may lead to a successful phishing attack against the user or even an attacker is able to steal the user's cookie. So on this target, if you want to exploit the cross-site script, what you'll need to do, you need to search a uh, random text here in the, in the search code parameter so that you'll get this parameter, which is search key parameter. Actually, this parameter of this website is vulnerable to the cross-site scripting. Now what you'll need to do, you'll need to perform a basic payload balancing so that this application is able to execute your malicious JavaScript code. So I'm doing a simple pop-up here alert and so that I, I can show you the exploitation, the successful exploitation of XSS. After adding the payload here, you just need to hit enter and you'll see a alert box here by this web application if you report this vulnerability you're definitely gonna get a bounty and a whole of the fame from that platform let's talk about the mitigations for the cross-site scripting as we have already discussed this vulnerability allows an attacker to execute his malicious code on the platform so the basic and the first line of defense that we can use is the input sanitization so that we can validate the user input and store their data in our database. Remember, if you are not doing a proper sanitization on the user provided data, then this may lead to a stored accessor in which an attacker is able to save his payload in your database. The next step that we can follow to prevent this cross-site scripting is content security policy. This CSP basically allows the application with this ability so that they can decide which data they want to render or which data they want to ignore. It simply means you are filtering out the sources and created a list of white source so that application in future use that white list to render the data. The third step to prevent the cross-site scripting is WEF. WEF stands for Web Application Firewall. If you are using the WEF, then this WEF is going to prevent the application from cross-site scripting. That's it for this video. If you like our content, then please make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel for the further updates.